in this situation, we see Spock as a captain, and Spock stays cool when he's in the captain's seat. Mm-hmm. My question mm-hmm. for you, Jonathan, do you think Vulcans have an advantage in the promotion series because of their mindset? And if not, do you think there are other races that might become better captains and therefore Starfleet gives them the advantage? Mm. So there's there's some caveat to all that. I think in the perfect world that yes, Vulcans are highly intellectual. They're 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 super smart. Mm-hmm. They're stronger. They're genetically just in every way, it seems like, better than humans. We see that their lack of humanity is also crippling sometimes, that they don't have the compassion that we have. So that is a struggle. But in the grand scheme of things, I think Vulcans are more often than not better than humans and more more effective uh, in a, you know, following following the rules and playing by the book, you know, structured environment like the military, like Starfleet. Uh, that being said, there's also... The fact that Starfleet is governed primarily by humans, yeah, and humans have a really terrible track record for being racist and discriminatory. So somebody like Spock or any Vulcan to really move up the ranks, it, you know, it's just like the the pay gap with women nowadays. Though he may be smarter and may do so much better than some other captain somewhere, he's not going to have an equal opportunity. So his Greatness oh, might dude, just bring yeah. him up to par with somebody else. So you think and, like if you're an admiral in the situation, there might be situations yeah. where people are like, yeah, you know, sure, this new this new Vulcan's really smart and level headed. That'd be great in a battle. But he's not a human. So I, I don't like that idea that there's that kind of racism in Starfleet. But I could see where it might exist. He, yeah. And I don't think I don't think it's like open racism. Like, well, yeah, that guy right. sucks. Yeah. And this guy's great. But it's that that. Uh, the captain's has has the prerogative of uh, like gut feeling. I don't remember what, yeah. what they were these for, it. but they'll use that and say, you know, I just got a gut feeling that you know Ken Williams from Montana is going to be a, a more Starfleet captain than Bokchok from you know Bok-chuk. classic <laughs> Bokchok, folks. Can't forget old Bokchok. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. It's, I would hope that in the future we don't have any of those, you know. Yeah. Uh, racism or discrimination or it was well, a different word when it's against different species species xenophobia oh there you go xenophobia there you <laughs> yeah, go that's a big word that's, yeah, that's, I like species that's my one better. for the week so i think maybe spock <laughs> is kind of the perfect scenario because of his half human nature it is something where mm-hmm. we see even in this episode he tiptoes into human reaction quite a bit this gut yeah. feeling he's like well it's not a gut feeling we have information and then you got bones and scott is like no that's a gut feeling you're checking over there because you you know both of them debate. I love that part of this where they, where you have the three of them on the bridge talking mm-hmm. and there is a little bit of a human reaction from Spock. And even the part with like, I think it was hope. He's saying, is it, you know, somebody was like, Oh, isn't hope a human reaction? He's like, well, basically it rubs off on you from the humans around you. Well, maybe not yeah. for a full on Vulcan, but he's got the half human blood. So maybe he's, you know, seeing that in there. I wonder if he's just happens to be the best case scenario. And on the flip side of that, too, I don't know why I didn't think about this, but Vulcans, they're so, so smart and, you know, they're trained from it from a young age to just be brilliant, right? Mm -hmm. You would think a Vulcan studying humanity could impersonate human emotions and human thought processes. Like you could pretend to fall, you know, to to believe what they believe, even if it's just like, hey, you know, I got to go along and do it the, the human way, because otherwise, you know, admirals and the starfleet starfleet command is gonna come down on me because they don't like the way i do things or something like that so i think they could could fake their way through it but yeah uh, hopefully there's no discrimination that keeps vulcans from moving up the ladder and then you have not to keep going on on this but then you have like michael burnham who was human all the way but lived and trained with vulcans so Mm -hmm. she has a lot of like the vulcan intelligence a lot of their you know tactical mindset but definitely goes emotion first she oh, might yeah. be the most emotional captain out there and her ship yeah. definitely is the most emotional ship for some reason but you know what i'm saying yeah. like so there i don't know there's something out there i was just kind of thinking like i wonder if starfleet's like hey man I'll, I'll go one more further on orville because you gotta mention orville now every time uh <laughs> if a Salayan, which is the people who grow up on a planet with a lot more gravity they're super strong naturally yeah if a Salayan applies for a security position they're fast tracked to the top of it because they're already such an advantage. So I'm wondering mm-hmm. if there's a race in Starfleet that does that. 
that basically has fast track somewhere like Klingons. If they if a Klingon was wanting to be a security officer, hell yeah. You know, right. I like to see somebody try to board my ship. If I got a Klingon with a bat left on it. Nope. You know? <laughs> yeah. And that's hard. Cause hey, there's, there's always, there's a precedence for like utilizing someone's abilities and their skills and making sure that they're, you know, they're being used uh, effectively. Right. But then there's like, well, we don't want to just be known for hiring Klingons to be security because that's all they could do. They're big brutes that can break things. Then you're at the same issue with, you know, xenophobia or being <laughs> discriminatory because God, what, you know, what an oh, opening yeah. question for this episode too, by the way, we're going to be talking right. a lot about that today. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. So it's complicated. I don't know. Yeah. It's definitely complicated, but in a perfect world. Yeah. Vulcans, I think would move up the ladder real fast because they're so smart mm -hmm. and, that's a big advantage. 